joined this morning by Canadian singer-songwriter Andrew Hyatt in studio. Good morning, Andrew. How you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks Appreciate for having it. me. It's nice to be here. So what would your country song be? Ooh, I don't know. Right now? Or in general? In general, uh, probably Chattahoochee, I would say. Yeah, that's like probably the first first like country song I fell in love with years ago, and it's still a go-to when we play live. And you know, I like old school country when it comes Same, to that. Same, yeah. yeah. Great song. Yeah. So how are, th- how are things going? Uh, you brought this lovely weather from Sudbury <laughs> yeah. with you, it seems like. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Things have been great. You know, we've had a busy, a crazy busy 2022. Um, put a record out in May and just one of the busiest tour seasons that we've had. So um, I feel like I'm looking forward to the end of the year and a little rest and recoup. Uh, I got married toured like crazy i renovated the upstairs of my house did all that within four months during the busiest festival season ever so i don't recommend it to anybody (laughs) if you know if you're thinking about doing those three things do them all separately but uh we survived and uh yeah it's been a good it's been a good go and how are you feeling overall because i know you had a scary moment with some surgery at one point right yeah yeah so i had surgery in uh somewhere mid pandemic i kind of had broken my voice pretty bad and uh i needed to get surgery for that but it's it's been good honestly the pandemic for me was kind of a blessing in disguise because i got to put a studio in my basement and uh you know spent the money there and just decided i'd rebuild my voice doing the record basically so spent a lot of time with a vocal coach out of nashville twice a week uh for an hour at a time and that was great and you know it was a long road but got back and i feel good now so back in better than ever, and yeah. congratulations on getting married. Thank you. Uh, how did you manage to do that? It's surrounding all these different festival <laughs> yeah. dates. Uh, we got lucky, you know. We just, I feel like our wedding got postponed a year anyway, just because of the pandemic. So we just picked a date, and then it just worked out that that date was free, and it was great. So how did you meet your other half then? Uh, we met years ago. So we've been together for on and off for like 11 years. You know, we were together for... Our, our story is is a long and winding road, but uh, <laughs> we we were together for four years, and then uh, we split when things things kind of started getting busy for me, and I was on the road, so lifestyle change, right? And that wasn't something she had signed up for in in the beginning, and uh, you know, kind of a culture shock for her. Um, and uh, and then we ended up getting back together three years later. But in the interim, I had written you know the first record that I I wrote, and kind of the song that got me signed, and and on CMT when CMT Canada was still a thing, was a, a song called "She Ain't You." It was never a radio single, but it's kind of the thing that brought management on, and that song was about her. And uh, so, in a roundabout way, the story is kind of really tied into my career. So, so I guess your song should be "Bless the Broken Road." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I guess it should be. Yeah, in in a, in a, that's very true. Once again, we're joined by Canadian singer-songwriter Andrew Hyatt this morning. And uh, we should also mention, too, uh, on top of, you know, getting married, busy festival season, you also won the CCMA for Rising Star Award in September. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you. That was uh, that was awesome. Um, you know, I'm almost nine years deep on this and two record deals deep on, on a career, you know. Um, they say it's a 10-year game, so I guess this is a good indicator that we're getting close, so... That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank man. you. Can you perform a little bit for us this morning? Yeah, yeah. We're going to do the 8.30 a.m. rendition of a song. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Here it is. This is uh, called Still Something off the new record. I remember I was eight years old with a blank tape waiting on the radio. Come on, man, I want to hear the stones, want to play them back on repeat. I remember the first of many long nights with a girl named Brittany. She took me down to the Paradise City in my Jeep Grand Cherokee. Man, I believe still something about a guitar cranked up, head banging to the beat of the bass drum. Still something about a sold out show in the second row with your girl on your shoulders. Still something about raising a cold beer when the lights fire up in the crowd. Jeez, muscle shows the Abbey Road, sweet child to sweet home. Still something about rock and roll. Still something about rock and roll. I like it best with the solo scream and wake up next day with my ears still ringing. It's a whole lot more than a feeling, more than a feeling, yeah. Still something about a guitar cranked up, head banging to the beat of the bass drum. Still 
feel something about a sold out show in the second row with your girl on your shoulders. Still something about raising a cold beer when the lights fire up and the crowd cheers. Muscle shows the Abbey Road, sweet child to sweet home. Still something about rock and roll. Rockin' me, baby. Keep on rockin' me, baby. Keep on rockin', keep on rockin', keep on rockin' me, baby. Keep on rockin' me, baby. You keep on rockin' me, baby. You keep on rockin', keep on rockin', keep on rockin' me, baby. Still something about a guitar cranked up, head bangin' to the beat of the bass drum. Something about a sold out show in the second row with your girl on your shoulders. Still, something about raising a cold beer when the lights fire up and the crowd cheers. The muscle shows the Abbey Road, sweet child to sweet home. Still, something about rock and roll. Still, something about rock and roll. Oh man, that is great. That is Thank fantastic. You. Wow. Thanks. Sounding good. So you have a lot of process in writing all of your stuff then? Uh, a lot of it. A lot of it. This I didn't write actually. This song has a funny story. Um, so we released this song in 2008. It was a pitch. Um, this uh, That was written by uh, Michael Hardy, known as Hardy, and uh, Mitchell Tenpenny sent that over to me. And uh, it had been passed on by Kid Rock. They had written it, you know, thinking, oh, this would be kind of a cool song for Bob and uh, that song, when he passed on it, you know, Mitchell sent it over, and I was like, yeah, this is great. I'd love to, you know, cut it. I like the song. It'd be a great live song. And then we released it, and then Kid Rock changed his mind and decided he wanted to cut it. So, you know, as a favor to the writers and whatnot, we pulled our version. It was out for maybe 12 hours, like just the way it worked out. And uh, so we sat on that song since 2018, and we had to wait for him to put his version out, which... You know, we were kind of sold on it as as he was going to put it out as this, you know, big single and whatnot, and it was going to be kind of his comeback tour, and um, there was a few articles about it. And then when the record came out, it's like this slowed down, like, stomp, clap, kind of like Southern, as Kid Rock does, but, like, really mm -hmm. slowed down. So we were like, okay, let's put our version out, and I'm glad it, it worked out timing-wise to make, basically, it's the bonus track off the record, and it's only on the, the uh, online stuff, but... Uh, it's been the song of the summer, like when we do it live. Like I, I bet it, acoustic doesn't do it the justice it needs to need to have. But when it's like all big guitars and big drums, it's killer live. So, so you said that's on the the newest album, that's, then? Yeah, that's on the Four Good Years record. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so tell us a little bit about about that. I know we're gonna play Four Good Years coming up uh, in a minute, the new single. But just tell us about the album. What was the process like? Yeah, so this one was a little bit different. Having having um, kind of come in to it, knowing that I was gonna have um, a vocal surgery. Um, we kind of took our time with it, right? Um, you know, I had put a put a studio in my basement and decided I was going to cut vocals there just because it felt a little bit more comfortable. And, you know, you're not on the clock. There's nobody else in the room. I was having terrible performance anxiety at the time because my voice wasn't working. Um, so this record was different in the sense that, one, I sang most of it with no pants on. Um, <laughs> you know, it just... In, in you're taking yeah, to work from yeah, home yeah, like, yeah. like everybody it, it was, else. Honestly, it was the best. It was the freest <laughs> I've ever felt. Um, so that and then also... It was just nice to be able to really sit and, and work through the vocals and not be on, you know, a clock or, or anything. I could sing, you know, whenever I felt good about it, which is usually, you know, as a singer, most of the shows we play are 9 p.m. on. We're never singing at noon or 8.30 in the morning or whatever, right? So we book these studios and we go in and we cut vocals and I'm cutting between, you know, you can really only sing in a day for about three hours, three 45-minute blocks before you kind of lose whatever is in your voice it's a muscle. And... um yeah, it was just nice to sing and then, you know, wake up the next day, listen back and be like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna hit this or hit that and just punch this vocal and it felt good and honestly, it was the best way to rebuild and the best way to make a record. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'll ever cut vocals in a different way. It's just a nice way to do it from home. All right, well, let's hear that song and then we'll come back and talk a bit more. Andrew Hyatt. Andrew in studio with us this morning. Once again, thanks for coming in today. We yeah, certainly thank you for do having appreciate me. that. I know you grew up in Sudbury, right? That's still home. Yeah, yeah. We moved back um, 
about six months before the pandemic. Luckily, we bought a house right at the right time, and you know, it was the perfect season to have a big yard and a yeah. nice, nice, nice place to just chill and have fires and whatnot. So, you know, I grew up in Northern Ontario too, and being good Northern Ontario boys, I mean, you're dropping names like Kid Rock and Hardy and Mitchell Tenpenny. Do you get starstruck? Is there still a moment for you uh, after all these years? You know, I'm I'm nine years deep, so maybe in the beginning, but you know, it's always it's always nice to be in that community and you know hanging out with people or just having songs sent your way but uh no you know what when you're down in nashville guys um guys are just kind it's just Mm -hmm. it's a community right it doesn't matter what level they're at you can run into somebody and they're just if you're in a room with them and they're you know they've got the number one single at country radio they're just they're just there to work and make good music, which yeah. is a good headspace to live in. That's awesome. So do you find that, have you been spending a lot of time in Nashville or well, maybe not, not lately? Not the last two years, <laughs> but uh, I've done a lot of Zoom. This this year, is, it was a lot of Zoom and uh, that'll be the goal over the next little bit. But prior to, yeah, I, I would probably spend, you know, I'm there a couple weeks out of every every two months is kind of the, kind of the time frame. Yeah. So Four Good Years is uh, the EP and the single too, so... You're feeling good about it, right? I mean, it's, that's another hearty song you were telling us. Yeah, yeah. So Four Good Years, um, you know, I was kind of saying off air with having vocal surgery, I had kind of stepped away from writing for a little bit. And I've, you know, I've always taken outside cuts but then and then written as well. But um, it was really nice to have these come in. And when I heard Four Good Years, I was like, that song to me is the epitome of what country music is about. It's, it's a great flip, you know, Four Good Years, the whole concept of it being tires and time. Um, and then just like a story that, takes a listener by the hand and walks them through it that's what i love about country music is the storytelling um so that became the anchor track for the record and that kind of set the pace for what we were going to do and it just made sense that that this would have been a single you know. and cheryl needs new tires actually yeah. so <laughs> yeah that was uh, my afternoon yesterday i was yeah. calling around getting some quotes uh so looking ahead i mean we're near the end of 2022 looking ahead to 2023 what's in store for for andrew hyatt yeah so we're going to finish out this radio tour um Pretty much December 6th, and then I fly to Nashville on December 7th to cut the new record. Um, so we'll cut all the instruments and some of the vocal live off the floor, and then I'll patch everything from home vocally. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We're doing six songs. Two we've already recorded, um, so we're actually just going to do four when we're down there. But uh, we're doing this one a little bit differently. We're using... Um, and obviously during the pandemic everything was a little more piecemeal right we'd send off to a drummer and it would come back to us and then I'd you know sing over top of my acoustic and whatever and kind of all the instruments would be sent to the producer um, kind of piecemeal but then uh, this record we're going to try and do it live and see if it's a little more cohesive I've also had a lot more um, in the writing hand on this record as I'm feeling a lot better vocally and mentally and it's nice to be it's nice to be back on that because writing music is my first passion and then you know performing is great but I, I love the writing process so Hi, Andrew thank you so much we appreciate you stopping by I know you got a busy day ahead of you today so uh, be safe on the roads all right yeah thank you so much and there's one more from Andrew Hyatt